This is one of those stories you wish wasn't true. Next time you drive alone at night, you'll think of it. It was a dark summer night, darker now in my memory. The full moon was the only light on that lonely Texas highway. I was driving with the windows slightly open and the smell of damp earth filled my car. Texas is hot, even at night, and I could feel the dampness of my skin finding relief in the wind blowing at me at 70 miles an hour. I couldn't stop looking at the moon. It was bigger than I'd ever seen. I was trying to keep my eyes on the road, but I was fixated. My mind flashed images of my mother telling me stories of the man on the moon, and I smiled to myself at the thought. The moon was so big, I might have actually seen the man. <laughs> My smile faded all too quick as I thought of a man actually living on the moon. The loneliness that he must feel. My brain has a habit of turning everything dark. I must have been zoned out for a full minute because I was startled by my car driving over the highway's rumble strips. I decided to stop thinking about such depressing things and tried to blast happy music and focus on the feeling of freedom that accompanied the deserted Texas road. Suddenly something caught my eye. I had totally ignored it to be completely honest and I didn't think twice. I just kept driving. There it was again. I saw something out of the passenger side window. Was I imagining things? I... I swear, I saw a shadow running next to my car. That's impossible though, because... No one can keep up with a moving vehicle. In the middle of my thought process, I really saw it. It was a shadow. It didn't have any discernible features, but it was definitely running. My eyes kept darting to my right, just barely not catching it every time. Was this thing aware? Without realizing it, I was speeding. This thing was keeping up. I was starting to panic. I was suddenly hyper aware of how alone this highway was, how bright the moon was, how fast I was going, how fast it was going. I turned to get a look. Highway be damned. And I saw the teeth. I slammed the brakes hard and heard the car come to a screeching halt. I was hyperventilating. What the fuck was that? I turned my brights on and I saw... Nothing. I convinced myself I made it up. The full moon had my imagination going full speed, I I'm, I'm sure. The loneliness of the highway got to me. I'm just so exhausted. I'm seeing things. I told myself everything you possibly could. Eventually, I got the nerve to start driving again. I closed the windows and turned on cruise control. By the time I got home that night, I climbed into bed without a second thought. The next morning I was awakened by the smell of coffee and in a haze I stepped into the kitchen to greet Alex. Hey, did you run into something last night? What? Why did he say that? I didn't tell anyone about what I saw. 
There's some crazy scratches on your car. Are you alright? I felt the blood drain from my face. The words were not processing. It just wasn't possible. Hey. Hey. Hello. Are you okay? I started towards the door, expressionless. I had to see for myself. There was no convincing myself of what's true this time.